My feedback and grading philosophy is very much informed by Joe Feldman's book called Grading for Equity. When I'm teaching majors, I like to use what I call a professionalism grading scale. With this grading scale, if a student meets just the letter of the assignment prompt, then they will earn a C. To earn an A, a student must approach the assignment with the thoughtfulness and nuance that a professional would. A student earns a B when they produce professional-like work, but with significant assistance from me. As an example, consider a student who writes a lab report on dropping cotton balls that has the appropriate sections, an abstract introduction, background methods, results, and conclusion, and they have the correct content in each section. But they try to get the answer that they expect that I want, or they say their data is bad. This student would get a C. To get an A, they may notice that their supposedly linearized data doesn't fit a straight line and write about the lack of linearization in their data, even though they may not know how to account for error resistance in the experiment. Perhaps instead they realize that their error bars are too big for them to draw significant conclusions about whether cotton balls decelerate at a constant rate, and they write about that. In the prompt, I can't anticipate every situation that a student might face in their analysis, but I do make it clear that I want them to engage with their data, their actual data. By using this scale, I can communicate to students how well they approach their work like a professional, with the goal that each assignment will become more professional-like. If I gave students an A because their first lab reports were great first lab reports, but they are not where I want them to be, then there is no incentive for students to improve. I could change the standard after each assignment, but that doesn't seem fair. So this grading scale allows me to continually challenge students to seek a professional-like approach to their work while maintaining that standard. The first assignment is graded on this scale, but given a weight of zero. This gives students a benchmark. After this, later assignments are weighted more to encourage continual improvements as students become more familiar with what it means to produce professional-like work. Finally, I like this grading scheme because I have found that when my students go out into the world, they are less concerned about whether they are competent to do technical work at a job or in grad school. For my students, I get the sense that they feel like an A in my class is not a measure of whether they played some arbitrary grading game well, but rather a reflection of whether they were performing at a level that is appropriate for working in the real world.